Hello everyone, how are you all doing? It's me, Ella, and I'm back with another prophetic message from the Lord. And um, yeah, as always, guys, please take each and every prophetic word that you hear or listen to back to the Lord in prayer because, you know, not every message is for everyone and we're all at different seasons and yeah, you just don't want to be caught, you know, receiving something that isn't for you. Um, the Lord's timing is always perfect and good. So it's always just good to go back to him to confirm whether you are in the season um, or what season you're in. And um, yeah, just doing your due, due diligence in seeking him for more clarity and confirmation and yeah always test the spirit behind every prophetic message and test the spirit behind every uh, prophetic voice that you come across okay so this message is not for everybody it's for a very specific few and even if it does resonate with you and you feel like it is confirming things that the Lord has already spoken to you I still encourage you to just go back to him and, um, you know, talk to him about it, discuss and reason with him. Okay, so this is a kingdom spouse message and yeah, it's it's quite heavy, you know. Um, I had a prophetic dream where I saw a young man and he was lying in his well sitting in his bed and he was just looking very stressed very downhearted um I would even go as far as saying he he seemed depressed and he was just holding his head in his hands um yeah something was wrong with him and then in the dream he said he got up from his bed and then he said um I'm I'm too hard to love, you know, and I, as I was watching him, it just broke my heart um, because this man was in a lot of pain and uh, he was in distress. It's almost like he had given up on himself and that's not a nice place to be. Um, but yeah, let's get into the the lyrical message. And I believe this is going to give you guys some some insight into some of the things that your kingdom spouses have gone through, some of the things that they need to heal from. Um, and yeah, it's just going to give you some, some pointers or prayer points of what to pray for uh, uh, regarding your kingdom spouse. Okay, so the song that, um, that dropped in my spirit that I prayed about because, um, yeah, it does have some, some PG themes to it. And I'll always like go to the Lord about a specific song and he'll confirm whether I should release the lyrical message. So he confirmed it to me and the song is called Daniel's Interlude and it's from it's by Division, the the R and B duo from Canada, and um, yeah, let me just get to reading it now. Okay, so the song starts out and says, "Did I ever tell you about the person that ruined me? That's probably the reason you feel like you're not getting through to me. Before I learned to have sex, yeah, I learned about sex with her." Never cheated, was faithful and honest. I wasted my best with her. Okay, so for who this is for, you know, your kingdom spouse has been doing a lot of introspection and they've been thinking about your relationship and about you. Um, and you are in separation currently. Excuse me, per perhaps your your kingdom spouse has been ghosting you excuse me um or they just you know 
they it seems like they don't want anything to do with you um but yeah this is the reason why okay there is somebody somebody in their past or maybe a few people in their past who really hurt them like very deeply and I don't know if you guys if you guys are on Twitter you'll often see people talking about how men specifically well they had somebody in like grade four or you know primary school that hurt them and ever since that time they've just avoided um you know the pain and they've made an effort to to really make women's lives miserable because of that one person when they were way too young who hurt them you know the the first person that broke their heart and it's sort of like this running joke that um you know men never heal from their first heartbreak even if it was in fourth grade or whatever okay so it's cuz you know i'm not saying that men only do this it there are some women that also do this but they try to avoid the pain they don't want to do the inner work um and the inner healing right so in this case um it's not <laughs> you know a person that broke their hearts in fourth grade it is actually somebody that they um that they saw themselves having a future with they really loved this person they they gave their all to this person they sacrificed a lot for this person and when when this person um cheated or broke their hearts it really crushed them and ever since then they've just been living that prodigal lifestyle you know um not healing sleeping with many people and engaging in destructive behaviors okay so your person is trying to relate that um to you now they they they're trying to figure out why it is that they that they don't treat you the way that you deserve to be treated they're trying to put two and two together and it's like aha it's because of that that person in my past who really damaged me okay so um yeah let's let's go on it says i gave her all of me i gave her loyalty she was close to everybody that was close to me she said she'd rather take her life than disappoint me i guess she's dead to me Okay, so this part, you know, it's just explaining that your kingdom spouse really gave their all to to this person in their past and um they gave them all the love, the loyalty and just their heart, you know, and this person was very deceptive. They probably tried to I don't know, butter your kingdom spouse up and tell them oh, I would never hurt you I I don't want to ever disappoint you I just want to love you and then they they turn around and and cheated or you know abused your partner and the part that says she was close to everybody that was close to me um this person in your kingdom spouse's past could have been um you know messing around with <laughs> with people that are in your kingdom spouses in a circle so they could have you know tried to make a move on your kingdom spouses brother <coughs> excuse me or they could have tried to make a pass at your kingdom spouses friends just anyone who was within proximity they tried their luck with with them okay so yeah and the part that says she said she'd rather take her life than disappoint me I guess she's dead to me. So even if this person was a counterfeit like in the most recent times, um the revelation here is that they are dead to your kingdom spouse. Okay, and this is not for everyone once again. Please know your season, know know your time and go to the Lord. But yeah, for who this is for? 
they have cut the counterfeit out of their life. It says she's, I guess she's dead to me. Um, so it's present tense, you know, this person is no longer dealing with the counterfeit. They've broken free and they're, they're doing the inner work now. Okay. And the song goes on to say, she gave me five long years, 21 lies and, uh, yeah, you know, of a JJ that followed both her wandering eyes. Since then, I've made a point of telling myself if she could do it, so can someone else. So, yeah, these are just some of the things that this ex or this counterfeit has put your kingdom spouse through. Um, when your kingdom spouse was giving their all to this person, this person was, you know, lying, manipulating, being toxic cheating you know just doing all these horrible things and your kingdom spouse made uh like they tried to justify their behavior by saying that you know if my ex hurt me so horribly then then everyone else is capable of 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 hurting me okay so yeah once again projecting their hurt onto other people and guys we know that hurt people hurt other people i think the proper way of saying that is hurt people hurt people so wherever you are hurt um and you haven't taken the time to deal with your emotions and really process your heartbreak and your trauma um you you tend to project your hurt onto other people um those wounds that aren't healed they bleed onto people who don't deserve it and this is what happened with you and your kingdom spouse you know if this word is for you they were hurt and they were bleeding on you and you didn't do anything all you tried to do was love them and um you know be a reflection of Christ in their li- in their lives <laughs> sorry and um yeah you've just been loyal and faithful to them loyal and faithful to the Lord as well but excuse me unfortunately your kingdom spouse um hurt you in the process because they've they hadn't taken time to heal from this um this earlier trauma okay so um the chorus says guess the things that i've seen they make it hard to love Ooh, they make it hard to love and now a dude like me maybe i'm hard to love Ooh, maybe i'm hard to love so you know i think it's pretty self-explanatory The things that your kingdom spouse has seen, the things that they've gone through, the trauma and the pain that they felt, um, and even the inner demons that they've been fighting, they, they have caused your kingdom spouse to be very destructive and engage in like inappropriate things. Um, they've even gone to like the resort of hurting the people closest to them, the people that love them the most, okay, and because of all of this, um, they feel like they are too damaged, and that it's hard for them to actually love anyone else, you know, love is very complex, and it's so beautiful, and um, it's, it's a, it's a journey of growth as well, so they feel like they can't, learn to love other people and on the flip side they feel like because of what they've done um they feel like they're not worthy of receiving love from other people and um some of them even feel like they they're not worthy of God's goodness and his love and you know his faithfulness and mercy and they feel like they're not worthy of your love okay so all of these contributing factors make your kingdom spouse feel unworthy okay um the next verse says 
feels like everyone I loved just did me dirt. It started with my mom, then every girl after that just made it worse. My mother was my partner, till she married a man she barely knew and let him treat me how he wants to. Abandonment issues, intimacy issues, you wonder why I can't admit it when I miss you. I know it ain't easy loving me, but I don't want you giving up on me, okay? So this goes much deeper now into, you know, possibly what your kingdom spouse had gone through in their childhood, you know. They feel like everyone that has come into their lives has just did them dirty. They've wronged them, okay? And here it's, it, it goes on with the the mother wound, you know. I've made a community post yesterday, I think, about the mother wound and um, emotional incest and toxic dysfunctional mother-son relationships okay so he says he had started with my mom then every girl after that just made it worse my mother was my partner so your kingdom spouse if this message is for you they were very very close with your mother um with their mother sorry and they were partners <laughs> for some of them they were literally partners in crime okay um and then the mother married a, a man you know so the stepfather now is in the picture it could be that your kingdom spouse had a very difficult relationship with their stepfather or it could even be their their own biological father okay um, and this man, this stepdad or fatherly figure, just treated your kingdom spouse horribly, um, which that in itself is, it's a big trauma because, you know, parents are supposed to be the ones who provide for us and love us and shield us as much as they can from the harshness of this world's realities. And they're supposed to protect us, right? But unfortunately, for your kingdom spouse, you know, parental figures were not doing what they were supposed to be doing. The parents didn't understand the assignment and that left them very hurt, very traumatized. And yeah, it left very deep scars for your kingdom spouse. Okay. Um, yeah, abandonment issues, intimacy issues. You wonder why I can't admit it when I miss you. Um, I know it ain't easy loving me, but I don't want you giving up on me. And that's the confession, guys. Um, for some of you, your kingdom spouse is not very good with words and they keep a lot of things bottled inside. So, you know, if you see a prophetic message that talks about, you know, oh, your kingdom spouse is in love with you or your kingdom spouse misses you and, you know, you, you've gone to the Lord about it and asked for confirmation and you also feel it in your own spirit that your kingdom spouse has been missing you, but there's no text, there's no email, there's no phone call. Um, this, this explains that, okay, the reason why they're not able to say that they miss you and tell you how much they love you or just expressing that they're feeling depressed or sad or anxious is because of these issues that they have. Um, a lot of abandonment issues, they they have everlasting effects, especially if it happened in childhood or, you know, that adolescent age, that those issues, that trauma, it, it has a very lasting effect. So it can even last well into adulthood, you know, well, well past your fifties, you know, so your kingdom spouse really needs to work on communicating better um, because, you know, it's nice to hear that somebody misses you and is thinking about you, okay? Um, but yeah, uh, the Lord says that your kingdom spouse, he's going to help your kingdom spouse to better regulate their emotions and 
he's going to teach them how to speak. He will open their mouths. And when the time is right, you know, your kingdom spouse is going to come back to you and express all these things. And they'll tell you how much they love you and how much they've missed you. Okay. Um, and yeah, your kingdom spouse just doesn't want you to give up on them. They know they are very aware that they are a difficult person or they can be a very difficult person. They, they, yeah, this whole process of them doing the introspection and praying about it and, um, working on healing their wounds it's uh, it's actually caused them to be self-aware but of course there's still pride and maybe even some shame and remorse um and regret so they won't just outright say it you know they're keeping it to themselves but the lord wants you to know that your kingdom spouse for who this is for your kingdom spouse is becoming more self-aware okay and that's beautiful and then the song goes forgive me for the things that i've seen that make it hard to love babe oh they make it hard to love and now a dude like me maybe i'm hard to love oh maybe i'm hard to love just thinking about it makes me feel weak okay so yeah, your kingdom spouse has finally come to this higher level of being awake and being aware that the patterns in their lives and in their relationships are actually destructive and they cause chaos and they cause hurt. Okay, so this is sort of like a, a mini confession from your kingdom spouse just to explain why they behave the way they do and um some of the things that they've been through of course and just rest in the fact that the lord is they've partnered with god and they are working towards becoming a better version of themselves um the lord is slowly healing them and plucking out those pieces of shattered glass in their broken heart and he's renewing their mind and their spirit um, and helping them grow, you know, so yeah, that's the end of the song, and then the Lord wanted me to read a scripture, um, and the scripture, I think it's from First Peter, if it could just load, that would be great, okay, there we go, <laughs> it's First Peter chapter 4 verse 8, okay, and it says, <clears throat> Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sin. Show hospitality to one another without grumbling, okay? So the Lord is saying, you know, keep on loving your kingdom spouse. Because of this lyrical message, now you know a little bit more about what they've gone through um, and how they've coped with that trauma and the the abandonment the hurt and all of the things that they've gone through right and now you know that your kingdom spouse is actually going to do the work towards healing themselves and the the lord is going to help them as well okay so he wants you to just keep on loving your spouse and pray for them without ceasing um, and I love this part. It says love covers a multitude of sins, right? So remember when you were once living in the world before you came to know the Lord, um, you were sinning, you were doing wrong things, you were partying, you were drinking, you were promiscuous maybe. Perhaps you engaged in like drugs or or something like that you know maybe you were a thief or maybe you yourself abandoned the people that loved you the most but you grew and you recognize that you need something bigger to live for you 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 came to accept salvation through Jesus Christ and his love covered all of your sins okay um I think it's somewhere in the Bible 
where it talks about the blood of Jesus washing away our sins and making us white as snow once again, right? So you've been through that process and now your kingdom spouse is going through that process and the Lord, because you're his vessel, the Lord wants you to continue to love your kingdom spouse, be patient with them, show them grace um, and where, where, where there needs to be boundaries, the Lord is going to direct you and instruct you where to place those boundaries, okay? Um, and yeah, uh, show them hospitality, meaning, um, I don't, yeah, it's not talking about like literal hospitality as in inviting them into your home. For some of you, that is going to be the case because your kingdom spouse is going to live with you at some point, right? Or maybe they'll come to you needing something, but um, in this context, hospitality means accepting them, okay, just embracing them, excuse me, loving them with, without any conditions, you know, the same unconditional love that the, the heavenly father showed you, show to your, your kingdom spouse, and, um, yeah, do it without grumbling. <laughs> I know this journey is super hard. It's very frustrating. It can be um, very hurtful. But wherever you feel like grumbling or complaining or, you know, taking out your frustrations out on someone, take it back to the Lord. Go to the Lord with your grumbling, okay? Um, your kingdom spouse is in a very fragile state right now for who this is for um yeah it's not easy coming to these realizations and recognizing where you've hurt the one person that actually that was sent by God you know um and they're feeling depressed about it but they will soldier through they will work through these issues and the Lord will heal them, okay? He's going to give them a new heart made of flesh and remove that heart that was made of stone, okay? So be patient with your kingdom spouse. Um, take your complaints and grumblings um, back to the Lord. Continue to show grace and love to your kingdom spouse and pray for them intercede for them don't stop fighting it's very easy when you're in this state of mind of um you know what the song explained it's very easy to get down on yourself and to blame yourself um of course you have to take accountability for your past transgressions but the devil can easily slip through the cracks you know so um yeah, the devil can influence your, your kingdom spouse to continue in this destructive behavior, to continue hurting you, um, and yeah, just even unaliving themselves, okay, because that guilt is just too big, it's too strong, and it's too much to bear, okay, but continue to, to cover your kingdom spouse, cover their mind, their hearts, their spirit, and their bodies, okay, their physical bodies, so that they don't harm themselves. Um, and the Lord is just reminding me of the scripture, <coughs> excuse me, where Jesus Christ says, um, take my yoke, take my yoke because um, I'm humble in heart and my load is easy to bear and give me your yoke, give me all your burdens, give me all of your troubles, okay? So uh, encourage your kingdom spouse to, to actually do that, to take all of their burdens and cast them upon the Lord and to, to receive the Lord's yoke, okay? Because Jesus Christ, he already conquered all, all of the trauma, all of the pain, and all of the sin when he died on the cross. So he he doesn't have any load to bear. He doesn't have any trauma to bear, you know. Um, so encourage your kingdom spouse to, to stick to God, to go to the Lord Jesus Christ's feet and um, 
and to accept his salvation and forgiveness, okay? Um, the Lord is also saying that a lot of them have to forgive themselves. It's so easy to say, oh, Lord, forgive me, Lord, forgive me. And even sometimes to go to the people that you've offended and say, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. But they have to also forgive themselves, okay? If they don't forgive themselves, they they won't be able to move forward, all right? And forgiving yourself is a big part of healing, okay? So ask the Lord during your prayer time to just give your kingdom spouse a reminder that they need to forgive themselves and ask the Lord to give them strategies um, and little even, yeah, even little exercises that they can do um, to, to work through that process of forgiving yourself and letting go of all the the shame, the guilt and the trauma and everything that happened. Okay, so I think that's pretty much the message for today. Um, yeah, I hope it was understandable and I'm sorry that I was all over the place. Um, I'm literally free flowing. <laughs> okay, so pray for your kingdom spouses guys um yeah they're going through a lot all right so yeah um i'll sign out now guys i will see you in the next prophetic message and thank you so much for listening and engaging commenting sharing and subscribing um i really hope that this channel blesses you Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you. Bye.